What's up guys, Chris here with Some Philosophy and I wanna tell you the one thing that either your program or the system you're using doesn't have or you're missing and that's the reason why you're not getting the results you want and not having the success that you want. So the one thing's very simple, when I tell you this one thing, you'll be like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy, why didn't I think of that? And if we agree that at the, the smallest level of everything, that it's just particles and just things building on top of each other, if we don't have this one thing at our sub level, everything above it is gonna fall apart or we're not gonna be able to build nothing from there. So the one thing is belief. And there's a book called The Biology of Belief. And one thing it talks about that I always thought about was they said if you took an inside of an atom, took a picture of it, there's nothing in there. It's just energy. So everything just comes down to energy. So if you don't have the belief in that something's going to work, then it's never going to work because you're putting the energy towards this is never going to turn out the way I want it. So I don't believe in this thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. And that's what a lot of people do with their with their fitness programs. They're like, that won't work for me. This is never going to work, but I'll do it anyway. And they just show up and showing up is a big part of success. But if you show up in your energy level saying this is never going to work, well, guess what? You're going to keep showing up and nothing's ever going to change. So a couple things with belief, I'm gonna tell you two different ways that it can help you with your system, your program, or whatever else. First, is your belief in someone else's belief in you. Say that again. It's your belief in someone else's belief in you. So if someone believes in you enough, and you believe in that person, let's say you have a mentor, a coach, trainer, whoever you're working with, if you believe in that person enough, if they believe in you, then you start to believe. Okay, so first you have to have that belief in that person or you have to have such a foundational belief in the system. So if the person has a system or a teaching, a program, whatever it is, if you have belief in that thing, if your belief is big enough and strong enough in that thing, you will believe in all the changes that come after it. For example, like religion, some people believe so hard in religion that they mold their life around them and they base it on the fact that religion did it all. Meanwhile, they're putting the work in, they're giving the effort, they're doing all that stuff. That's just one example. There's many, many examples of how this works or how deep this rabbit hole goes. But no matter what your belief in the thing or the person's belief in you, at some point, you must start to believe in yourself. And that's where I think a lot of people are lacking. They don't have that belief in themselves. They still believe in another thing. It's great if you believe in your coach or your mentor, you believe in them to a point, but there has to come a point where it's like, you know what, I'm doing this. Like I'm putting the work in. I believe in, in my abilities to do this thing. And that's when you start to see the greatest amount of change, the greatest amount of success is when you start to believe in you. Because any system or program, their end goal shouldn't be to rely on them. The end goal should be that you become the leader, you become a person who lives, breathes, and can teach this thing or do this thing or whatever it is, you need to have that belief in you where you actually own the information, the knowledge, it's a part of you. Once you have that belief in yourself, then you'll notice how everything changes. So let's say it's a weight loss thing. You believe in your coach, you work hard, you believe in them, you work hard, you believe in them. All of a sudden you start saying, this is me, well, I'm doing this, I'm putting the work and I'm doing this. Then all of a sudden you'll no, no longer need the coach. You can become your own coach. And I've seen it happen plenty of times where this person starts to believe this really works if I put the work in and everything else. And then they start to grow from there. And sometimes they outgrow the coach. And that's the end goal. Any great teacher or leader wants their students to outgrow them at some point. They don't want to always be the source. They want to be the person to say, hey, now you go out and you do your thing. You create your own system from there. But it starts with belief. So either believe in someone else's belief in you or or eventually you must, you must, must, must start to believe in yourself. And once you have that belief in you and that you can do anything, if you put your mind to it, your body to it, your energy towards it, then you will be as successful as you want to be. That's my philosophy for today. Hope you guys enjoy it. Talk to you next time.